women in Isiolo have been asked to take advantage of an ongoing free breast and cervical cancer screening by the office of the county first lady Habiba Guyo. Na nimefurahi sana kuona survivors hapa. Nimefurahi sana kuingia na wamama tukupima. Thousands of women across the county are targeted in the screening that will last for a whole month. According to Ms. Guyo, who said those found with either of the two cancers will be enrolled to the National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF scheme to access treatment. Kwa hivyo wa mama wenzangu, musione kansa ni kitu imestikiwa kwa mtu. Kansa ineza tibiwa, tungangane, tuweze kupimwa, tujue ni nani akonayo na ni nani hana. Na ukiwa nayo, kama unogopa kusema mbele ya public, nifuate mimi kwa sababu ukipatikana nayo leo. Utaanzishiwa matibabu leo na governor atasimama na nyinyi mpaka mwisho wa matibabu. More than 200 women have so far been screened with at least 6 cases recorded by Tuesday morning according to County Public Health Chief Officer Bisharo Hassan. Sita choka nitafanyia wa mama kazi. Tutazidisha hii campaign lakini ni jukumu yenu kama wa mama kuhakikisha hakuna uoga si ndio? Hakuna uoga ya ukataa kupima, sindio? Kwa hivyo, kansa si ugonzwa ati imebandikwa kwa mtu fulani. Kansa haijui umri, kansa haijui gender, kansa haijui status, uwe tajiri, uwe maskini, kansa inashika kila mtu. Kansa survivors led by medium githa ika said high treatment cost and late diagnosis makes it difficult for patients to access treatment on time. Unapo kubali huo ugonjwa, matibabu inakuwa rahisi ni kwa sababu wakati unakataa matibabu unapato na stress na hizo stress zinafanya immunity ina, inaenda chini na wakati immunity inaenda chini matibabu inakuwa ni ngumu sana. Ku, ni, matibabu inakuwa ni ngumu na unakuwa maramingi hata uwezi ukiendelea na matibabu. Lakini ugonjwa wa kanza si uwezi sema unauwa ni encourage watu kuwaelezea kwamba Unapo tambulika mapema, unapo enda ukue diagonized ugonjwa upatikane, matibabu ianze immediately, matibabu inakuwa rahisi na unakuwa kupona. Kama mimi kutoka iyo hii ni miaka ni mwaka wa saba. Governor Abdi Ibrahim Guyo's spouse also asked women to have their daughters aged between 10 and 12 years get HPV jab to prevent them from contracting cervical cancer in future. Cancer pia ikona vaccine. Kwa astanetu wadogo, Wenye umri ya tuseme miaka kuminambili kuenda juu, kuna vaccine. Na si mbaya, ukidungwa yo vaccine ni kama venye watoto wanapelekangwa clinic, munadungwa measles, TB, kuna vaccine pia ya cancer. Speaking at a separate event, Isiolo North MP candidate in last August elections, Osman Sharif, called for establishment of a cancer diagnostic and treatment center at County Referral Hospital to reduce the burden patients in car in seeking services elsewhere and even abroad. The earlier the better because wakigundua mapema itakuwa ni viema vizuri kwa sababu hata kama hakuna tiba ya saratani eh, wanaweza kuwa wanaweza punguza ile gharama eh, mtu anaweza anaweza ingia kwa sababu when you detect the cancer at a very early stage you can be able to manage and it is treatable. He also appealed for supportive counseling for cancer patients as well as follow-up for those found with the disease during local mobile screenings by the county government and non-government organizations. Public lazima ipatue awareness through the local medias and through the church, through the mosques. Semekana ya kwamba siku fulani wakati maalum kwa kituo fulani tutakuwa na screening in your center. So that it is an advantage to cancer treatment costs range between shillings 800,000 and shillings 1.5 million, depending on the hospital and the type of therapy a patient needs. Cervical cancer, which is caused by human papilloma virus HPV, is the second most commonly diagnosed cancer after breast cancer and the leading cause of cancer deaths in women. Sasa watu wetu, wanaume, si ate cancer ina, ina, kuna kitu inaitua prostate cancer. Na imesumbua wanaume wengi. Si mnaona wakati mwingine watu wanatembea na mnaiwa wanaume. Ni hiyo ugonjwa. Kwa hivyo na kwa vile tumepewa nafasi. Na hospitali zetu ziko na madawa. Msiseme hii tu ni akina mama peke ya. Wanaume mnanisikia? Because wanaume wengi wamekufa na prostate cancer. 33 in 100,000 women in Kenya have cervical cancer and 22 per 100,000 die from the disease 
due to inadequate screening and misdiagnosis according to World Health Organization. All women are at risk of getting cervical cancer which is prevalent among those aged 30 years and above. Data from medical practitioners and dentists also show that the country has about 50 oncologists to serve over 54 million Kenyans 